everyone, it is Stella, and today we are going to be making this super cute snowflake wreath. I found it in a box with some Christmas stuff, and it's been there for a little while, so I figured I should make it for my room. And I already, so originally the top of this plastic bag was attached up here, but I had ripped it out, and then I was like, you know what, I should make a video on this. Um, so it actually has some instructions, and it says, assemble... Snowflakes overlapping various shades of blue and white. Glue buttons randomly in snowflake centers. Glue ribbon, glue curly ribbon bow to top of wreath. And I don't think it shows how to make a curly ribbon bow. And it doesn't tell us one made, but it comes with some ribbon. This is going to be a really cute coloring page for the giant wreath. And this is what it looks like when it's done, hopefully. And it just says makes one wreath. I don't know where I got this, but oh, it's already open. So it comes with a bunch of little foam sh uh, snowflakes and some beads and stuff so we've got like heart beads star beads and like just circle beads kind of a cheapy plastic beads and then we've got all these little snowflakes with like these little pop-out centers so a large variety of snowflake centers well shapes so you've got these shapes and then we've got like the more rounded shapes we got blues and white and so here's the ribbon how you make a curly bow i don't know so we'll just set that aside and you know do something with that uh and then you get down here and you have your foam circle uh, mine is a little bent right here i don't know why it is but we can go ahead and get started with all of our shapes and stuff like that so i just got my elmer's glue here and yeah, we can just, my favorite color is blue, so I want to start with blue, but unfortunately I don't have hot glue anymore, I used it all, and yeah, so I think we're just going to have to kind of, well, yeah, basically just completely go around with it, if I can get my glue open, shoot, I think it is glued shut. I'll be back once I get this open. Alright, I got it. Um, and I'm just going to put where I want my snowflake. And then, I think I whoop, only really need to put glue around the edges here. So I can get my glue to come out. I wonder if a glue stick would work. I'll just kind of do this so I can save glue. And then just glue it on. I want it. Okay, so you don't need to glue so far. Let me grab a piece of paper. I've got a piece of paper here, and I'm just going to fold it in half a few times. And wipe off the excess glue so then it doesn't get all over my blanket here. That'd be bad. Okay, so that's pretty well wiped off, I guess. Um, I think I'm gonna just try glue stick, and you know what I should actually do? Is just glue along the edge and then put the snowflake there. But I really want to put one of these beads in it. Or not beads. Um, <coughs> yeah, buttons. There we go. I not think of what it's called. So I'm going to take a star button and I'm just going to put some glue on these prongs here if I can get any glue to come out. I just need a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, good. Just enough to glue it right in the center. And now I'm going to continue gluing on beads. And buttons, not beads, in a whole bunch of different stuff, styles, you know, whatever. And I will be back once I'm done. 